This is DITW Anatomy and Physiology, and you are watching the video on rules for naming epithelial tissue. All epithelial tissue is named according to two main criteria. How many layers are there in the tissue and the shape of the cell that composes the tissue. There are three different types of layers to epithelial tissue. The first one is simple, which is a single layer of cells stratified epithelial tissue, which is composed of more than one layer of cells stacked atop each other. And there is a special type which is called pseudostratified, which is a single layer of cells that looks like more than one layer of cells. Epithelial cells have three recognizable shapes. Squamous, which is a flat cell. Cuboidal, which is more of a squared shaped cell or square kind of in height and width. And then you also have columnar, which is higher than it is wide. When it comes to naming of epithelial tissue, layering proceeds shape. For example, an epithelial tissue composed of flat cells in a singular layer would be called a single squamous epithelial tissue. Another example, an epithelial tissue composed of columnar cells in a singular layer that looks like multiple layers would be called pseudostratified columnar epithelial tissue. Another example, an epithelial tissue composed of a singular layer of square cubed shaped cells would be called single cuboidal epithelial tissue. For more information regarding specific epithelial tissues, please check out other videos on my YouTube page. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you enjoyed it, please like it. If you have any questions related to anatomy and physiology, please leave your questions down in the comments section below. And make sure to subscribe to know when other videos become available. Thank you.